Okay, this is literally my worst nightmare. Hi, my name is Leo Vader. Guess I'm gonna be breaking down my iconic characters today. Guys just think it different. Dinkus Peters. So I play Dinkus, the nerdy best friend of the male lead. Chad, Chad, Chad. Don't come to me for advice about girls. I can't even get laid in my Dungeons and Dragons campaign. And I'm the dungeon master. Dinkus is definitely a nerd, you know, very into books and video games, so not sexually viable. But at the end of the movie, they do catch him making out with the little bride wedding cake topper. So that was, that was pretty funny. Playing Dinkus taught me a lot about what it means to be a friend and just that everyone has that capacity to change. I have never seen you so gaga for a chick. The Chad Mike way I know ridicules women, calls them mean names, and generally makes them feel less than. I know that, dink is. Brian, Brian Fighter. I always thought it was a missed opportunity to not call the movie Fighter, but. Hey, dipshit. Here's the thing. You're going to jail. But first, I'm gonna kill you. Brian Fighter, he was this no-nonsense kind of Liam Neeson type action hero. He really hated, like, nonsense, you know? He's really opposed to uh, nonsense. I'm sorry, I'm really excited about this. I never thought I'd be doing one of these videos. That didn't really work out though. People didn't really buy me as Brian Fighter, you know? Apparently in the books, he was like four feet tall and he had a really high-pitched voice, but Hollywood likes to kind of flip those elements and kind of make it more marketable by having it just be a guy who looks like me. I'll never forget you, son, Chris Pratt. The Chris Pratt biopic. How did you even find that? I was originally cast as young Chris Pratt. Yeah, just starting out his career. Wow. Parks and Recreation? That's God's jurisdiction. I was really sad that fell through for me. Yeah, it was uh, the day those shirtless pictures from Guardians of the Galaxy came out. The studio was like, yeah, we don't want people remembering relatable body Chris Pratt. Uh, I think they said, we'll call you if Chris Pratt drops Christianity and starts worshiping at Church's Chicken. I believe they ended up reshooting with Jason Momoa. Oh, straight eye for the straight guy, Leo. Dude, you are killing it, yes. Yeah, I don't know if this one aged well. They were trying to like build on the Queer Eye franchise and yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. God, we're already down to that one? Because <laughs> there are fewer good parts than I remember. <laughs> Minging mates take the piss. <sighs> Percival Von Nutsack. I hated that character's name, but they insisted on it. You know, over there, apparently it's like a little tea cake they make on the Great British Baking Show. But yeah, it's a sitcom. I was the wealthy landlord of the three leads. Oi! These skit lads are throwing a wobbly and you slag me off proper? Jog on, in it. Early days. I will say it was a really interesting challenge uh, learning all my lines phonetically with a coach, but I was never any good at the accents. Like this whole acting thing was a really brief period. Like I never went to any acting classes or really had any passion for acting. Yeah, it was a friend at the time who really lined up a bunch of this stuff for me, who was really like in the industry. But uh, yeah, he asked me if I could do a British accent and apparently to him, my answer sounded like yes. So now we have this pretty <laughs> embarrassing performance, frankly. Uh, that's all of them, right? Exodus Gods and Kings, Rodney. You believe his evil self serving All I want to know is if it is true. I didn't ask for a toy. Awkward. Yeah, the studio brought me in to lighten up the movie, but uh, focus groups didn't like it and they cut me out. So not really an iconic character. <laughs> How did you find that? <sighs> Criminal Minds, Killer Kids, Corpse 2. Yeah, my uh, first TV role. I don't know. What's up? Oh, um, well, the killer of the week, Brayden, uh, garroted me with a nerd's rope and tried to stuff me in the trash, so that's why I'm in there. But yeah, that was like a bottle episode all taking place in the same crime scene, so yeah, really tough week shooting that. <sighs> Fabroxacil commercial. On top of being ugly, do you suffer from fart breath? What am I supposed to say about that? <sighs> Told me it was for a dating app. Law and Order Ordinary Victims Unit, Corpse 41. <laughs> he played a lot of corpses, that's so funny, great job. <sighs> I'm not engaging anymore, okay? So, you're, good luck getting any content out of this, I'm not giving you anything, all right? 
College days, ass out Donald. Okay, please tell me you're not allowed to show a clip from that one. Oi, everyone! Who wants to see me take me ass out? <laughs> okay, that has to be it, right? Uh, making a killing. Okay, <laughs> I did, it was just the character's name. All right, I, there's nothing aged poorly. It's just, the, I, no one even called, everyone just called me Bobby. I didn't know until the credits rolled at the premiere and everybody was throwing stuff at me. Don? Leo, how'd the shoot go? You knew I was here? Yeah, I saw you eating lunch across the way and said, call that guy up here, man. He's Leo Vader, he's like the best actor in town. He's like a young De Niro, you know? A dirty grandson type. I told you a thousand times, I'm not good at acting. That was humiliating. Leo, what are you talking about? They didn't show Perzul von Nutsack? That was like the worst one. Where is this coming from? Did you ever notice that half the stuff I was in either never got released or they cut me out of it? No one liked my work. I liked your work. You were great, man. You were like young Sheldon meets Sheldon. <laughs> have, you, have you seen the new one? The new what? Sheldon. Any Sheldon. Young Sheldon and Turtles. Have you seen the snail Sheldon? I, there's just something about the name Sheldon that's like, it feels like kind of like a nerd's name to me, you know? It's just that I've thought about my few months acting a lot and I really wish someone had slowed me down. No, it was your dream to be an actor. You were gonna be the new Chris Pratt, but atheist and, you know. I always thought you had chops. I really appreciate that. And hey, at least you botched the audition for the Mad Max Fury Road. It's a bullet dodged. I would have loved to be in that. That movie's amazing. Ugh, no way. Way too shitty. You know, you have such strange taste that sometimes it's hard to really internalize your compliments. <laughs> Same old Leo. Hey, let's go get some gum and eggs, huh? I'm down to come with and catch up. So you're still producing that fluid? Okay, do you not know what's embarrassing? Or like, are you fucking with me? I've been overclocking my CPU, which is a nice change from when girls see my room and they say PU. Fancy a shag? Only joking, joke on. Can't wait to get home and play Mario Kart. Beep beep. Homework, please. <laughs> Next time, don't do drugs. Bitch. You know what I miss is school. I like the tests, the homework, pretty much everything but the getting stuffed in my locker. Oi, these skint lads are throwing a wobbly? And just like me, I've quit faffing about. In it. In it. <laughs>